In my experience teaching English pronunciation, I found that there are several words that all students seem to struggle with. One of those words is the word world. World. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to pronounce the word world. And in the process of doing so, I'm going to teach you how to pronounce four other words. And that's a bargain. Speak English, man. Let's start by talking about the vowel sound in the word world. I'm not talking about spelling. Forget about spelling. I'm asking you to think about the sound. What is the vowel sound in world? To answer this question, what you need to do is take away the w sound at the beginning and take away the u and the d sound at the end. What you have left is the vowel sound in the middle. What is that sound? Listen again as I say the word. World. World. If you listen carefully, you can hear that the vowel sound in this word is the sound uh. Uh. Watch closely as I make this sound. Pay close attention to the shape of my mouth and the position of my tongue. Uh. Notice that I'm not smiling. I'm not doing this. Uh. Also, I'm not sticking out my lips. I'm not doing this. Uh. But I am actually opening my mouth quite a lot. In fact, I can get three fingers in my mouth as I make this sound. Uh. This vowel sound is represented in the International Phonetic Alphabet by this symbol. However, er uh isn't just a vowel sound, it's also a word in English. The word er uh means to make an error. It's not a very common word, but you will hear it in the common expression to err uh, on the side of caution, which basically means to behave cautiously. Also, as I explain in another video, err uh is the sound that native English speakers make when hesitating. Uh, like that. Okay, so we've established that the vowel sound in the word world is the sound er. Uh. So now let's try adding back the consonant sounds that we took away. Let's start with the w sound at the beginning. What word does it make if we add the w sound back onto the beginning of the er? Uh? W er. Uh. Wah. I am, of course, talking about this word. Wah. For example, we would say, Where were you? You were? Note that this word is not pronounced the same way as this word. We're saying were, not where. This time, let's keep the w sound at the beginning, but also add back the u uh sound at the end. What word do we get now? W, uh, u, whirl. The word whirl means to spin around. And it's used in quite a few common expressions in English, such as the expression, give something a whirl, which means to try something. I was a bit scared, but I gave it a whirl. OK, this time, instead of adding back the u uh sound, we're going to add back the d sound, so that we have w, uh, d. What word 
does this make? W, uh, d, word. Can we have a word? I give you my word. So we've talked about er, uh, were, well, and word. All that remains is to again add back the uh sound. World. 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 There are several reasons why people find it so difficult to pronounce world. Firstly, I think the spelling is quite distracting for people. So what you need to do is just forget about how the word is spelt and focus on the sound. Another reason I think a lot of people find this word difficult is because it contains what linguists call a dark L. The dark L is like this, uh, not like this, l. So we don't say world. That would be wrong. It's world, world, world. The most important thing you need to do is open your mouth and say the vowel sound correctly. Uh. Notice that it's a very long vowel. So we don't say this, world. It's world. This is the best channel in the world. So there you have it. This is how you pronounce world. We've also talked about er, were, well, and word. However, there's another word here that we haven't talked about. If we take away the w sound at the beginning, and we take away the d sound at the end, what word does that leave us? Leave a comment if you think you know the answer. Thanks for watching, take care, and remember to subscribe.